This is an introduction to Autodesk Mesh Mixer. I recommend the Mesh Mixer forum for specific questions about Mesh Mixer. Mesh Mixer is ideal for dealing with more organic 3D shapes. It is primarily a sculpting program. You can think of the model as digital clay that can be reshaped, just like real world clay. To start in Mesh Mixer, you need to import from a starting mesh. This can be any STL file or most 3D formats, or it could be a 3D scan. We are going to start with one of the built-in starter meshes, the Stanford Bunny, the Sphere, or the Plane. I'm going to choose the Sphere. The menus in Mesh Mixer are in categories along the side of the screen. We can make changes to our Sphere by selecting and modifying parts of its surface. We can also use the tools in the Edit and Analysis menus. We will deal with these options in later videos. Our primary focus in this video will be the Sculpt tools. There are two categories of Sculpt brushes, Surface and Volume. You can switch between the two types by clicking the slider at the top of the pop-up menu. The Volume brushes mostly reshape the entire object. The surface brushes are mostly for adding texture and features to existing surfaces. There's very little I can tell you about the differences between the brushes that can replace experimenting with them for yourself. While you're trying them out, what I recommend is to stick to the first two rows of the volume brushes. I'll discuss some of the specialty brushes in later videos. Also, be very careful about the Spikes brush. It is advertised as for experienced users only. I think that's mostly because it can change things really quickly. No matter which brush you are using, you can see that there are many, many settings and options that will allow you to tweak how the brush performs. The ones I recommend paying attention to are fall off, strength, size, and symmetry. In fact, the same brush can act radically different depending on the size and strength you're using. You can very quickly adjust the strength and size of your brush while you work by using your three button mouse. Scrolling with the mouse wheel will change the size of your brush. If you right click and hold down, you can slide up or down to change your brush strength. A full list of hotkeys can be found under the help menu at the top by selecting keyboard shortcuts. There is also a one page version on Autodesk's website. You can find the link in the links section of my website. When using a brush, if you want to do the opposite action of the brush, hold control. This is useful for indenting into the mesh. You can also switch to your secondary brush, which is one of the smoothing brushes, by holding shift while brushing. It's a good idea to smooth frequently to prevent your surfaces from overlapping each other. To navigate in Mesh Mixer, click down the middle mouse button, hold and drag. This will orbit your view. If you do the same action while holding control, you will zoom. If you hold alt, you will pan. You can also bring up navigation controls and some settings by holding down the space bar to bring up the hot box. When working on a project, I recommend using very large, strong brushes at first to mold the overall shape, then add in smaller details and textures. Remember that you can always undo your mistakes by pressing Ctrl-Z and redo the undone actions by pressing Ctrl-Y. 
Mesh Mixer allows you to undo almost any action. It stores a long history of your actions. Now that you have the basics, try sculpting ahead. Check out my other videos to learn more about Mesh Mixer and how you can use it to 3D print things.